I'm homeless and we're staying in our car and trying to get help however I can. So far, it's not been very good. This is Trisha McCormick and her two little girls. For the last four days, she and the girl's father have been living out of their two cars. It's getting colder, yes. And it's not good, not what I want anyways for my kids. We stay all night and we are just happy. Yeah, you're happy stuff. The freezing temperatures have been so brutal, their trunk is serving as a fridge and they're forced to run their heat through the night. It's just hard to do anything. You ain't like you can just go to a campground and sleep in the tent or something. Cormac and her family aren't the only ones who are finding the cold weather unbearable. The Salvation Army says over the last day, more people have filtered into their shelter. Well, you know, anytime that the weather is extremely cold like this, you know, people don't want to sleep under the bridges. They don't want to sleep in their cars. They want to come into a nice warm bed. And the shelter is prepared for a crowd of people to walk in the coming days who are just like the McCormicks. They say they've got an extra room and bedding. We want to make sure that their needs are met, whether they, you know, have warm clothes, whether they, um, you know, need a bed to sleep in, whether they need a warm meal to eat, you know, those things that we take for granted, we need, we really try our hardest to make sure that they have at least that. We're told that the Salvation Army is really the only place around here that the homeless can go directly into for a place for shelter. In Bowling Green, Rachel Mark in WBKO. Um, be warm, watch TV for one, brush our teeth. Trisha McCormick and her family are staying in a hotel. Mm -hmm. Was you warm? Mm -hmm. It's pretty exciting considering just yesterday McCormick, her two little girls and their father were living in their car, running the heat all night just to stay warm in the brutal temperatures. Sit, all of us cried and sit and hold hands and pray and it's really difficult. Uh, so far everything's uh, <coughs> okay as far as being warm and being able to take a bath and eat a little bit of food, what we do have. A local church gave the family two nights at the motel, and now a local diner wants to fill their stomachs with a hot meal, which is something they say they haven't had in a while. Too long. Been eating viney sausages and crackers. And crackers. <laughs> After the anticipated breakfast, the family plans to try to find work and a place to call their own. Sam Hollis has found a handyman gig for the day, so McCormick is going to apply for jobs and housing. Hey, I'm going to go do all the applications and see what I can't do through the low income housing and probably apply for food stamps and all that. And good news catches up with McCormick fast. A local employer gives her a ring and tells her about a job opening, giving the family and her hope that soon all this will be behind them. Trisha McCormick is still waiting to hear back to see if she's got an interview today. In Bowling Green, Rachel Markin, WBKO. And thank you very much for everything you did to help us through this journey.